This is an installation of end suction top discharge type chilled water pump and you have already seen continuous water leakage from pump discharge rubber bellow. Bolting between rubber bellow and metallic flange are kept tight but still this leakage could not be prevented. Now let us see what is the defect in this rubber bellow installation. This is an installation fixture of rubber bellow in between two flanges. In this case this bottom flange is pump discharge flange and this top flange is pipeline flange. This black one is the rubber bellow having this type of shape. This end of the rubber bellow is kept leak tight after bolting with bottom flange using this type of carved segmental retainer rings placed inside the flange. Similarly, other end of rubber bellow kept leak tight by bolting between retainer rings and flange. To prevent axial expansion and failure of rubber bellow, one set of tie rod with nuts is provided on this side using two numbers stretcher plates bolted outside the flange. Similarly, another set of tie rod with nuts and stretcher plates are provided on other side of the rubber bellow. Now let us see the bellow installation closely and let us see what is the defect in this rubber bellow installation. This rubber bellow has been installed in between pump discharge flange and pipeline flange. This end of the bellow kept bolted tight using this retainer ring and this end of the bellow kept bolted tight using this retainer ring. But the tie rod stretcher plates have been mounted over the retainer ring inside the bellow. When tie rod nuts were tightened, the stretcher plate was tending to move inward like this and due to this bolting of retainer ring with bellow was becoming loose and water was leaking. So the bellow installation defect is tie rod stretcher plates should have been mounted outside the flanges. Now this is the modified installation of rubber bellow where tie rod stretcher plates have been installed outside the flanges. In this case when we tight tie rod nuts stretcher plate will not be able to make the bellow bolting loose because stretcher plates are mounted outside the flange and the flange is sufficiently rigid. Now you can see left side earlier installation and right side modified installation side by side. In earlier installation tie rod stretcher plates were inside and in modified installation stretcher plates are outside the flanges. So while installing any rubber bellow we have to install tie rod stretcher plates outside the metallic flanges.